A line of police greeted the Justice for Palestine Nakba commemoration as we tried to march around the city. Activists vowed to come back next year and defy any attempt to restrict our right to march. We will march, and we will march longer than the 600 metres that they deemed acceptable. They say it's about our safety, but it's not the reality. What happened to democracy? And when we talk about structural racism, this is the reality of what structural racism looks like. Because when brown people, when Palestinians stand up, this is what we face. We face a line of police cars that tell us we can't march around this city as hundreds of rallies have done for many, many years. They said we're not responsible. Look at us. What threat are we? So, I'm just flagging before we move into that square and finish this off. And I'd like to say again, thanks to the rain gods that have kept us cool and dry for uh, so long. I'd like you to make a commitment this year with us, not only to be here, but a commitment that we will march through this city on our terms, as is our right. Oh, yes. And we will have a march as we request. And it is their responsibility to facilitate that. And as I said, they can take us to court, we'll go to court again. We won last time, we'll win again. But maybe we commit ourselves to just marching anyway, because I am getting very tired of having to deal with this bureaucracy and this reality. So before we finish up, I'd like to thank everyone for making the time to come down here. I'd like to thank everyone for looking up at the sky all today, but still turning up here. I'd like to thank everyone that have made that commitment that rain, hail or shine, we will acknowledge this day and we will continue our struggle day in and day out until there is a free Palestine. And I'd like to remind people that it's just not about anger and despair, it's also about action. So if you want to know what you can do, hit us at Justice for Palestine. Join us. Look out for our next actions. Join the email list. Join the Facebook, Facebook group so that you can hear about our actions. Because I think over the next month we need to send a message to the establishment of this state, as represented by the Queensland Maroons, that it's not acceptable to be complicit with a state that can, before the world's eyes, assassinate a journalist with a bullet to the head. I don't think it's acceptable that Puma can sponsor the Israeli sports team and can also sponsor that Queensland Maroon. So if anyone here knows sports fans, anyone here knows players, anyone here knows up-and-coming players, anyone here who knows players of colour, Speak to them about this. Speak to them about what Puma does. At the very least, we ask them to cover their badge on their sports uniform as being done in many places around the world. But our goal is that Puma no longer sponsors here, no longer sponsors there. But we need all of you to help us do that. So make this commitment as we fold today that we will be here. We will be here when the bombs start to fall, but we'll also be here when we need to organise, and when we need to organise together and build the solidarity that will one day let us all walk and let the people of Palestine walk in a free Palestine. Thank you. Woo! Woo!